Are you here to be a healer, to be a teacher, to be a mentor, a coach, a leader? One of the things that's going to happen in your life when the time comes is you're going to start activating your spiritual gifts or feeling them more enhanced so that you can assist people with them, especially if you're here to be a healer. One of those gifts is called Clear Audience and Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist depicts it fantastically. This is a gift that you unlock when it's time for you to use it to help others, to assist them with processing their emotional wounds. Let's watch this clip. Help, I need somebody. Help, not just anybody. Help, you know I need someone. Help. When I was younger, so much younger than today. Now I find a change of mind and opens up the doors. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. And I do appreciate you being around. Help me get my feet back on the ground. Won't you please, please help me? Changed enough so many ways. My independence seems to vanish in the haze. But every now and then I feel so insecure. I know that I just need a life I've never done before. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. And I do appreciate you. There are many people in the world who need help. They don't know how to handle their own emotions. They don't know how to interpret their thoughts, their goals, their dreams. They don't know how to bring their ideas into action. But above all, they're scared to face who they really are within. Their greatness, their talents, their potential scares them. Because society has taught them they're imperfect, they're unworthy, they're broken, there's something wrong with them. So if you are a healer, a teacher, a mentor, and you have the gift of clear audience, you have developed it, you're developing it, it's getting activated. This is a gift that activates when it's time for you to serve by being yourself. Because you can hear that which remains silent for others. It's a silent cry for help, but you can hear it loud and clear. Help. I wrote No Knows Me as a guide to help you complete your healing journey so you can go through all the awful states that we can experience, such as grief, fear, anger. These are super low states of our consciousness, of our frequency state that bring us down. But we're there when we're down we're not always able to pick ourselves up and to transform the pain into lessons. I wrote a guide to help you do that, to alchemize your pain into a life of purpose, because that is how you unlock your alchemical abilities. You take the pain and you create something with it, much like the scene we just watched. This cry for help is something that we've experienced personally. Maybe we needed help and we used songs to express to our friends, hey, I need help and I don't know how to say that. So I'm going to send you a song. But for clear audience people, they can genuinely almost hear your thoughts. 
they can understand that when a song is playing, it's coming from a particular person who needs their guidance, their wisdom. Because oftentimes people get stuck into a particular state of mind and they don't know what it even means. They're not equipped with the emotional intelligence, with the emotional tools to regulate their emotional health. Let me know if you've activated the gift of clear audience and how that journey has been for you. If you've watched Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, you know that she was in the midst of a great loss when this gift activated. And I have a theory that we experience our greatest spiritual activations when we have the birth of a child around us, our own child, our sister, siblings, or when we lose someone that we care greatly about. These are two pivotal, pivotal moments that unlock more of our spiritual inheritance because through that pain, we can transform, we can alchemize, we can jump timelines, so to speak. We can use that pain as a portal, as a gateway to the next level of our life, to the next chapter of our life. Thank you.